If you want to hear about Battle of the Brands number five, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen with another video. Thank you so much for joining me. I am introducing Battle of the Brands number five and I'm so excited. It is something different. It is texturizing and volumizing sprays. I am so excited to bring you this. A lot of the product came from a set, a holiday set from Sephora. If I still have a picture, I will put it right here. And I want to try all of those plus a few more that I have at my disposal to see what the big deal is with texturizing sprays and which ones work best or not so great for uh, my kind of hair, which tends to be on the dry side. Um, it's all back, so you can't really see very much, but over the next number of videos, you will obviously see more hair <laughs> than usual because I'll be using these sprays. But um, let me just show you what the products are and uh, we'll get into it. Now, if you have any comments or suggested uses for all of the products that I'm going to show you, please, please let me know in the comments. I want to do my best to use these products as they are best used and any suggestions are great. Like I said, this is the fifth Battle of the Brands. If you want to see all of the Battle of the Brands that I've done so far, four of them, I will put the playlist right there for your ease of reference. Oh, also, if you want to see how I achieved this look, then I will also link that video right here as well, because um, I think it turned out really nicely. So you might be interested to see what is on my face. Let's get into these texturizing sprays. I'm just going to go at random. I don't have a specific order. I'm just going to quickly introduce what it is that I'll be using over the next number of weeks. So I do an intro to these Battle of the Brands, but I use every product multiple times in order to kind of do the pros and cons of uh, each one of these uh, little guys in this category. So here we go. I have six total. First off, I have IGK Beach Club. This is called a volumizing spray. Uh, definitely in a pressurized container and this one has 1.7 ounces. So there should be a few uses in here for sure. Another one that I'm familiar with, this is Triple Sec and this is a texture volume and refresher. And this one has again about the same amount, 1.6 ounces. Now, the next one I have is Wé, and Wé is, again, a texturizing spray, 1.4 ounces. So it's kind of nice. So far, they're all pretty much the same size. I have an Amica. This one is called Undone. This is a spray for texture and volume, so volume and matte texture spray. And this is the smallest one so far at one ounce. Next, we have Cake, and Cake is the Do-Gooder. Uh, this is a totally to die for volumizing dry shampoo. So volumizing dry shampoo. So it looks more like uh, shampoo, dry shampoo might be the first um, use for this. But a lot of dry shampoos are texturizing sprays, so that doesn't surprise me. And then the big one here, this is Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. It says instant lasting volume and texture. So there you go. I have, like I said, six bottles. I'm going to be using them a lot over the next number of weeks. And I would say don't hold your breath to see what the outcome is. I'm just letting you know that I've started working on it. And I'm really looking forward to reporting back on the good, the bad, and the ugly. And which one will end up being my repurchase when all of these six bottles are done. If you have, like I said, any suggestions or questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I look forward to uh, reporting back and to uh, getting started using these. I appreciate your time very much today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.